Many people wrongly believe that territorial governor Lou Wallace reached out to Billy the Kid in order to exchange the young man's testimony against Jesse Evans and others for a pardon for his crimes. In fact, in a letter dated March 13, 1879, William H. Bonney writes to Governor Lew Wallace, offering to exchange testimony against those who killed lawyer Houston Chapman in exchange for having his indictments annulled. March 13, 1879. To His Excellency, the Governor, General Lew Wallace. Dear Sir, I have heard that you will give $1,000 for my body, which, as I can understand, it means alive as a witness. I know it is as a witness against those that murdered Mr. Chapman. If it was so as that I could appear at court, I could give the desired information, but I have indictments against me for things that happened in the late Lincoln County War and am afraid to give up because my enemies would kill me. The day Mr. Chapman was murdered, I was in Lincoln at the request of good citizens to meet Mr. J.J. Dolan to meet as friends, so as to be able to lay aside our arms and go to work. I was present when Mr. Chapman was murdered and know who did it, and if it were not for those indictments, I would have made it clear before now. If it is in your power to annul those indictments, I hope that you will do so as to give me a chance to explain. Please send me an answer telling me what you can do. You can send an answer by bearer. I have no wish to fight anymore. Indeed, I have not raised an arm since your proclamation. As to my character, I refer to any of the citizens, for the majority of them are my friends and have been helping me all they could. I am called Kid Antrim, but Antrim is my stepfather's name. Waiting for an answer, I remain your obedient servant, W. H. Bonney. Two days later, Wallace responds with a letter to the kid, which is delivered to him in San Patricio, New Mexico. Nowhere in the letter does he promise a pardon. Lincoln, March 15, 1879. W. H. Bonney. Come to the house of Squire Wilson, not the lawyer, at nine o'clock next Monday night alone. I don't mean his office, but his residence. Follow along the foot of the mountain south of town. Come in on that side and knock on the east door. I have authority to exempt you from prosecution if you will testify to what you say you know. The object of the meeting at Squire Wilson's is to arrange the matter in a way to make your life safe. To do that, the utmost secrecy is to be used. So come alone. Don't tell anybody, not a living soul, where you are coming or the object. If you could trust Jesse Evans, you can trust me. Lou Wallace This letter, from Governor Lew Wallace to Billy the Kid, is the only one not among the Wallace papers. The letter was obtained from Lew Wallace's son by Maurice Garland Fulton. Wallace stated in 1902 that he furnished a copy to the local paper in Santa Fe. The original letter, retained by Billy Bonney, has never been found. 